The Tejas Mark 1 A light combat aircraft is all set to receive two European advanced missiles, the advanced short-range air-to-air missile, and the meteor-long-range BVR missile. The integration of ASRAM is in the final stages, and will start captive trials next month, followed with firing trials in later half of 2023. The Tejas Mark 1A aircraft will be integrated with the highly capable upgraded UTAM radar from the 21st unit onwards, featuring 912 transmit receive modules that can support the Meteor Long Range missile and other advanced missiles like the Astra Mark II and Astra MK3 missile. General Electric officials have said that the joint venture engine offered to India for its AMCA Mark II fighter program will be based on the studies carried out for the development of the F-414 enhanced engine that was designed to provide an 18% increase in thrust from the 98 kN F-414 engine. The 116 kN F414 enhanced engine has the same length and inlet diameter as the F414 engine, that will also enable an easy engine switch on the AMCA Mark 1A Ted BF and Tejas Mark II fighter jets without requiring major structural changes. The project managers of AMCA and Ted BF program have suggested that General Electric engines should be retained, as choosing a different engine manufacturer would necessitate a reassessment of the air intake design and other parameters during integration, which could lead to further delays in the program. Under a deal signed in January 2023, the French firm Naval Group and India's DRDO will integrate the indigenous fuel cell-based air independent propulsion system onto the first Scorpion-class submarine INS Calvary from mid-2024 onwards. Larsen and Tubro and Thermax will manufacture the AIP system, and the retrofitting will require cutting the rear hull of the submarine and adding the AIP section, that will increase the length of the submarine, after which trials will be conducted to check its effect on maneuverability speed power performance and weight distribution, along with operational testing of the AIP system, and the entire process will take around two years to be completed. The Indian Navy plans to procure three more Calvary-class submarines, that will have an AIP section incorporated into their hulls during the manufacturing process, that will save both time and money. Swedish firm Saab India has said, that the Gripen E fighter jet offered to the Indian Air Force under the MRFA program, will provide high weapon flexibility, allowing India to integrate any weapon of their choice into the aircraft including the Astra series of missiles and BrahMos NG missile, without Saab's intervention in the integration process. The Raven ES-05 radar provides a full 100-degree field of view, that enables the Gripen-E to turn away after launching a missile without losing data links to the fired missile, while the electronic attack jam repod protects against radars through sophisticated jamming functions, thereby blocking enemies' ability to attack. As the expansion of cyber warfare capabilities by India's adversaries has made the cyber domain more contested, the Indian Army has now decided to operationalize command cyber operations and support wings as part of an overall approach to absorb niche technologies and modernize its online networks. The decision to have dedicated cyber operations wings was taken at the Army Commanders Conference held last week. Oh, my God.